shelter in place. Shelter in place simply means staying inside your home or business. During an accidental release of toxic chemicals or emergencies involving hazardous materials where air quality may be threatened, shelter in place keeps you inside a protected area and out of danger. Tips at home. Choose a room in advance for your shelter. The best room is one with as few windows and doors as possible. A large room, preferably with a water supply, is desirable. Something like a master bedroom that is connected to a bathroom. Contact your workplaces, your children's schools, nursing homes, where you may have family, and your local town or city officials to find out what their plans are for shelter in place. Find out when warning systems will be tested. When tested in your area, Determine whether you can hear or see sirens and or warning lights from your home. At work. Help ensure that the emergency plan and checklist involves all employees. Volunteers or recruits should be assigned specific duties during an emergency. Alternates should be assigned to each duty. The shelter kit should be checked on a regular basis. Duct tape and first aid supplies can sometimes disappear when all employees know where the shelter kit is stored. Batteries for the radio and flashlight should be replaced regularly. The appropriate steps depend on the emergency situation. If you hear a warning signal, listen to local radio or television stations for further information. You will be told what to do, including where to find the nearest shelter if you are away from your shelter-in-place location. At home. If you are told to shelter-in-place, act quickly. Follow the instructions of local authorities. In general, 1. Bring children and pets indoors immediately. If your children are at school, do not try to bring them home unless told to. The school will shelter them. 2. Close and lock all outside doors and windows. Locking may provide a tighter seal. 3. If you are told there is danger of explosion, close the window shades, blinds, or curtains. 4. Turn off the heating, ventilation, or air conditioning system. Turn off all fans, including bathroom fans operated by the light switch. 5. Close the fireplace or wood stove damper. 6. Get your disaster supplies kit 
and make sure the radio is working. 7. Take everyone, including pets, into an interior room with no or few windows and shut the door. 8. If you have pets, prepare a place for them to relieve themselves where you are taking shelter. Pets should not go outside during a chemical or radiation emergency because it is harmful to them and they may track contaminants into your shelter. The Humane Society of the United States suggests that you have plenty of plastic bags and newspapers as well as containers and cleaning supplies to help deal with pet waste. 9. If you are instructed to seal the room, use duct tape and plastic sheeting, such as heavy-duty plastic garbage bags, to seal all cracks around the door into the room. Tape plastic over any windows. Tape over any vents and seal electrical outlets and other openings. As much as possible, reduce the flow of air into the room. 10. Call your emergency contact and keep the phone handy in case you need to report a life-threatening condition. Otherwise, Stay off the phone so that the lines will be available for use by emergency responders. 11. Keep listening to your radio or television until you are told all is safe or you are told to evacuate. Do not evacuate unless instructed to do so. 12. When you are told that the emergency is over, open windows and doors, turn on ventilation systems, and go outside until the building's air has been exchanged with the now clean outdoor air. Follow any special instructions given by emergency authorities to avoid chemical or radiological contaminants outdoors. In your vehicle. 1. If you are very close to home, your workplace, or a public building, Go there immediately and go inside. Follow the shelter-in-place recommendations for that location. 2. If you are unable to get indoors quickly and safely, then pull over to the side of the road. Stop your vehicle in the safest place possible. If it is sunny outside, it is preferable to stop under a bridge or in a shady spot to avoid being overheated. 3. Turn off the engine. 4. Close windows and vents. 5. If possible, seal the heating, ventilating, and air conditioning vents with duct tape or anything else you may have available. 6. 
Listen to the radio periodically for updated advice and instructions. Modern car radios consume very little battery power and should not affect your ability to start your car later. Seven. Stay where you are until you are told it is safe to get back on the road. Be aware that some roads may be closed or traffic detoured. Follow the directions of law enforcement officials. At work. Check with your workplace to learn their plans for dealing with a hazardous materials emergency. Their shelter-in-place plans should include the following. 1. Employers should close the office, making any customers, clients, or visitors in the building aware that they need to stay until the emergency is over. Close and lock all windows, exterior doors, and any other openings to the outside. 2. A knowledgeable person should use the building's mechanical systems to turn off all heating, ventilating, and air conditioning systems. The systems that automatically provide for exchange of inside air with outside air, in particular, need to be turned off, sealed, or disabled. 3. Unless there is an imminent threat, employers should ask employees, customers, clients, and visitors to call their emergency contacts to let them know where they are and that they are safe. 4. If time permits and it is not possible for a person to monitor the telephone, turn on call forwarding or alternative telephone answering systems or services. If the business has voicemail or an automated attendant, it should be switched to a recording that indicates that the business is closed and that staff and visitors are remaining in the building until authorities advise it is safe to leave. Five, if you are told there is danger of explosion, close any window shades, blinds, or curtains near your workspace. Six, take your workplace disaster supplies kits and go to your predetermined sheltering room or rooms. And, when everyone is in, shut and lock the doors. There should be radios or TVs in the room or rooms. 7. Turn on the radios or TVs. If instructed to do so by officials, use duct tape and plastic sheeting such as heavy-duty plastic garbage bags, to seal all cracks around the doors and any vents into the room. Seal any windows and or vents with sheets of plastic and duct tape. As much as possible, reduce the flow of air into the room. 8. One person per room should write down the names of everyone in the room.
call your business designated emergency contact to report who is in the room with you and their affiliation with your business. Employee, visitor, client, customer. 9. Keep listening to the radio or watching TV for updates until you are told all is safe or you are told to evacuate. 10. When you are told that all is safe, open windows and doors, turn on heating, ventilating, and air conditioning systems, and go outside until the building's air has been exchanged with the now clean outdoor air. Follow any special instructions given by emergency authorities to avoid chemical or radiological contaminants outdoors.